Welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have a quick look at an HP DL580 generation 7 because I have it right here and um, right now I'm at work because I haven't ready a video for tomorrow so I have to make a quick one this time so that uh, you have something to watch tomorrow so I have a lot of editing tonight but let's have a quick look at this uh, Generation 7 of the DL580 yes. It's still in the box even though this server is uh, quite old This was a test server that was sent uh, For my workplace and we were supposed to test it out. We were supposed to send it back We didn't get around to that and during the summer holiday break one of the bosses was presented with a bill for this server and he accidentally paid for it. So, um, well, this server has been doing absolutely nothing for its entire life. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's um, it's not new anymore. And we actually ended up buying the generation eight uh, instead of the generation seven. We still have those generation eight servers uh, running. So this one never got in production and it was a mistake buying it. But well, that box is not with us anymore, so I'm gonna be unwrapping this and um, we will have a little look at it. There are some very nice rails here. I wonder if I can remove this. I don't think the rails are that interesting. And there is a server down here. Awesome. And Empty piece of cardboard and a bloody heavy server. Cool. I will uh, <laughs> take this out of the box. It's that's gonna that's not gonna be a pretty me struggling with this box and this server. Okay, I'm still in one piece, and I have mounted the server here on top of a couple of core switches that are also out of production that's old cisco call boxes so let's see the server from front here shall we it's the very first time that i have ever seen this i've never had one of these generation 7 out of the box here is the usual thing it has the ilo 3 adapter in there i see it has a serial number it has the password for the ilo adapter and serial number on the other side then there is a little lever here. Wonder what that does. That releases this handle, which releases the CPU and the RAM box. Okay, we'll have to have a look at that, of course. There is room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hard drives here. And there is room for a CD-ROM drive, which is not occupied. Then there's a little diagnostics panel here with uh, all the fans, uh, power, Amp status, live status, power cap, P PSU 1 to 4, and a lot of memory blocks. Oh, and the processors. Okay, fans and processors. So a little bit of everything, and that pops in there really nicely. Cool. A power on button, two USB ports, VGA connection, the logo over here, HP Polyant DL580 Generation 7. Awesome. So let's um, let's turn it around. On the back we have four power supplies. These well, HP has really done good on their power supplies because these power supplies will fit uh, other system, other HP servers as well. Uh, there's a little bracket here for taking stuff apart. For example, these uh, were supposed to be removed. Um, even though this thing doesn't see, oh yeah, it fits there. Does that one fit? Ah, that one does not fit, so that one fits. Ah, okay, well, that's also a cute little feature to have a little tool on the back. Then it has, it has four one gigabit. Actually, it says four ten gigabit. Oh, how does they say? One, two, three, four, 
and then there is room for two ports up here it seems like maybe you can put in an extra module it doesn't look like that these 10 gigabit ports has anything to do with this over here so it's probably an extra card that can be installed here to put those in four power supplies these are 1200 watts power supplies beasts that's very powerful power supplies i must say we have a serial connection we have a vga connection we have ps2 connections here that's old mouse and keyboard well it's nice to have it we have the ilo ilo 3 adapter and we have additional two usb ports right there actually there's only these two usb ports on the back then there is a couple of there's four extra network ports and there is a two fiber hba adapters and these are eight gigabit adapters so awesome yeah not much else it's heavy as hell so let's go to the side here it says that this server is about 36 to 50 kilograms depending on how much you put in it so well i did struggle a little bit with it let's open up see what's inside okay up and whoa there's not a lot in here it's half empty all of this over here is just empty this system i think was i remember that you could build you could put in in an extra board over here for more expansion slots you can kind of see that that these expansion slots are missing and the ones that are in here there are oh how many are there there's one x16 here one x8 one x16 two x8 it's actually pretty fancy to have those x16s in the server that's uh, and there is good room back here to have those card be graphics cards big powerful beefy calculating graphics card oh there's a cool feature right here i like that right here is the bootable sd card uh four gigabyte not an HP branded one. That's uh, it's usually HP branded. But that's still cool. Hot pluggable fans. Four of them it seems. One, two, three, four. There and there is some plastic thing here. Oh, so that can. How does that work? That's something that can. Um, Shut off. Ew. Weird. Okay. Seems that if it can turn off if this fan is not used, that will lock down and the air will go through over here instead. So it's probably for maximum power savage or something that, that is used. Down here are the power outlets for the for the graphics cards and that's the special HP 10 connectors I have seen and I actually have some of these connectors at home to uh, connect directly over to a standard graphics card otherwise in front there is the back plane of the hard drives and there is two cables that go down uh, to the rate controller which is actually on the system board on this model the system board is here I see that there is a slot for extending that so you could put in a an extender like if you want a better rate controller you can occupy this slot with the cache controller battery stuff and the rate controller will be a lot more powerful than the one that is on the I don't know if we call this system board or the ILO adapter well I'm sure HP has a good name for it but I don't know what that's called but it's kind of the main board and the one in the bottom is another board but also over here we have the power for the back plane the two connectors some additional whatever i'm not sure what that is here is the room for this for the cd-rom drive if we wanted to put one well, that's just a blank right now if wanted to put in the cd-rom drive there is no cable for it so that would also be needed so the back plane of the cd-rom drive is missing uh, this is the cable for the 
control panel in front. Power cable, yes, that and that and let's let's go to the other side and see what we can see from there. Okay, here we can actually see a little bit. We can see the big connectors that is coming from front. Underneath this stuff is the CPU board and the RAM board. So we're gonna go take that out in a little bit, but we can also see the back of this. So this system board goes in to the same connectors just over here, and there seem to be more connectors than over there. So this is more of an extension. Don't know what that is. Down here, the server is also able to boot from, um, from a USB stick. Two gigabyte USB stick is in it. So it has probably been configured with ESXi 6 point or 5 point, whatever was popular when this was new. Uh, and that has been loaded into that USB stick. And there is two of those down there. I don't know why there is two, if it's able to run redundant, I don't think so, but um, you might have one. Maybe that's for the CD-ROM drive. That has been seen before, that you actually plug the CD-ROM drive down there and and you just have a USB CD-ROM drive. That, that would make sense. There are some big caps here on the back of, otherwise anything of interest right there. The cables for the GPUs are here, so that's uh, it has to be able to load a lot of power that way. Cool. Let's try and get the CPU and the RAM out. Release that handle, and this pops out. And I do believe there is a locking mechanism, and you press these two blue buttons, and you get this piece out. My guess is that this will be very similar to what I've seen on the generation 8 of the 580. The release button for the cover is the same plate. And there is a lot of RAM in here. So let's see, how do we get that out? Blue levers. Okay, okay. And we have some RAM slots. Uh, release button maybe. Would be nice. There. Okay, that's nice. There is room for eight slots in each of those, and there are eight of those, so eight times eight, that's 64 slots of memory. These ones are eight gigabyte blocks, so in each of these there are 32 gigabytes of memory. Uh, cool. They're pretty cool, actually. Um, oh, there is a win thing here. Oh, I forgot about that. When you take out a memory slot like this, it blocks so that the wind will not, or the, the fan blowers will not be blowing all the cool air through here, but it will go all around, go through the other memory blocks instead. So that's cool. Let's turn it around and see the... The processor here, there are four processors in this server I see. These are the E7 processors. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, they don't say it, but I think I've seen the specs of this server. And these are very high end. These are, I forget, I might uh, be able to put it down here somewhere. Uh, but four processors in it and room for 64 blocks of memory. So these servers are very powerful for the entire workload. Uh, the problem with them is that each of these mini cores in these mini CPUs are not that fast by themselves. And a lot of programs and software um, can only use one core at a time. And that starts to hurt at some point. But by themselves, they're not very uh, strong. So for virtualization, well, you're really giving out some cores that are not that great for the virtual machines that are getting them. There is a lot of them, yes, but uh, many times uh, a virtual machine will get a lot more power out of having less cores, but more faster. Uh, well, if the frequency goes up, the software will usually perform better than on these.
So I'm having a bit of problem with the camera because I didn't charge the battery. So I have four minutes to, to conclude this. Uh, the reason I really wanted to open up this server was it has a couple of these um, HPA and I have a another server, actually the generation eight that we got instead of this one. I'm pretty sure it has the same HPA cards. So, and I have a, a doubtful one. So I want to take one of I will take both of them out and use them as spare parts. I don't think this server is ever going to be used for anything. Uh, so I might as well. Oh, I did, uh, on the back there was some uh, remove when, when out of transport. I removed those and then I'm able to access this funny, funny, funny system um, for releasing the, the PCI cards here. So uh, I'm going to remove those. Cool. And bring those with me. Uh, oh, they have. And uh, let's show, close that down again. Cool. And I think actually I'll put the screws back on. I think this server is really good for is for the graphics cards because it has these two 16 uh, x16 slots down here, and not many servers has that. That's a real plus for this server. And I have seen servers HP modules like this. Uh, that has been used for applications that actually use the GPU uh, for picture rendering and stuff like that. So that's a thing that this server is really awesome for. And you can extend it with even more over here. Okay, that was a quick overlook of the HPE DL580 Generation 7 with all the whistles and bells and stuff inside. I'm gonna close it up, put it back in the box and put it back on storage. Uh, now we have at least gotten a couple of spare parts out of it. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Hit the bell thing and also give me a like if you would like that. I would like that, so have a nice day. Bye bye.